What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the Oaken Soul Ring and how Zoss has decided in week four of the Update 35 public test server, Zoss decided to go ahead and buff the Oaken Soul Ring just a bit. The Oaken Soul Ring has seen a lot of changes during this uh, public test server kind of period, but what they did to the Oaken Soul Ring I think will make a good bit of the player community happy. It was a bit strong in PvP, let's just be honest. Uh, a lot of the PvP community felt like that it was way too strong to begin with, and it's kind of back on par now over the last several weeks. But on the other side of that, the PvE community felt like the nerfs you know, that were kind of put in place to help with the PvP side were really hurting the ring on the PvE side. So Zoss decided to go ahead and buff the ring this week in the public test server just a bit. The item set now will also grant Minor Slayer, Minor Aegis, and Empower. They didn't uh, adjust how Empower works just a bit, but they did put a developer comment on this. So they've been keeping a close eye on the Oaken Souls heated debates throughout the public test server cycle, where the nerfs were uh, noted as justified by most of the community in the uh, PvP environments, but a lot of people in the PvE environments felt like it was hit a bit too hard. So they opted to avoid enabling too much damage on the set by adding the major versions of Slayer and Aegis as those buffs are meant to be sourced from trial sets and to encourage coordinated behavior for groups. Instead, they went with the much more readily available minor, uh, minor versions excuse me, to help out players who may not have access to trials gear or just have other sets they'd rather run. In addition, they wanted to add the new Empower buff, which is by design now focused on helping accessibility just like the ring is so it was kind of how the stars align moment is what they put uh, or kind of how they worded it they think this will drastically help the set uh, claw back some of its power without showing up on veterans uh, bars as frequently as they had seen in the past so it looks like what they're doing is trying to make the ring more accessible especially for new players but not so strong that veteran players are running it consistently like they were. Um, this seems like it's going to be something that's going to be good for now that they have changed, you know, and gone back to how they were going to nerf a lot and heavy attacks that has been adjusted a lot this week as well. And I think you could even use the uh, Oak and Soul Ring and maybe some heavy attack builds. There's a lot of people kind of talking about that right now. I'm not sure exactly if those are going to work again. There was a time in ESO when heavy attack builds were actually a thing. Until I can get my hands on the actual update here on PS5, I won't really be able to tell you how well it would work with a heavy attack build. But there are some, you know, kind of talks in the community about using a heavy attack build with the Oaken Soul Ring now uh, that it has been buffed a, a little bit. But overall, I think this could be maybe the, the spot the Oaken Soul Ring stays in just for a little while. Of course, we all know how mythics are in ESO. Anytime there are mythics added to the game, uh, Things seem to kind of change, uh, you know, month to month, sometimes week to week during the public test server. And the, those mythics never really stay the same as they were once they went or as they were when they were released. And I think that's one thing that did upset a lot of people. Yes, the Oaken Soul Ring might have been a bit too strong in PvP, uh, but at the same time, a lot of PvE players were upset that it got nerfed at all because they felt like, you know, if it's something you add in for PvE content, it really shouldn't change that much. And a lot of people are also upset saying, you know, I bought the, you know, the new content, you know, the High Isles chapter, you know, for these new mythics. And a lot of people felt like Zoss kind of does that on purpose. They bring in all these really cool mythics, you know, they leave them alone for, you know, a couple of weeks to a month. And they really decide to nerf them, you know, a lot. And people feel like it's kind of, you know, not really a thing that, you know, they were kind of sold, I guess, was kind of how they, they put it. You know, they feel like they were kind of lied to by Zoss. You know, they will have all these cool mythics, but they turn out just to be pretty much annihilated and not really worth using. And people feel like it's kind of a waste to go in and, you know, buy this content if these all these mythic items are just going to be destroyed, you know, a couple of months after they're released. Of course, that's not really my opinion, but a lot of people in the community do feel like that, and I can see why they feel like that. I do think Zoss needs to leave a lot of these mythic items alone a bit more than they do. We'll kind of have to just wait and see how this Oaken Soul Ring you know, kind of acts now on the live server, but it looks like the Oak and Soul Ring will be getting a bit more of its power back. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.